Tommy Vargas out of Bakersfield, California. My name is Martin Sandoval. I'm from Oakdale, California. Um, I've been working on my stand-up quite a bit, um, and I, I feel confident in it. Uh, I know that my wrestling's, uh, you know, the best out there pretty much you can get, so I, that's always in the back pocket. Um, but, you know, it's an MMA fight. I'm trying to make it well-rounded, trying to, you know, give the fans what they want, so I'm, I'm obviously uh, into doing some stand-up as well. I'm just going to go out there and, you know, do what I do every time, you know, just finish on my feet. I want to get, a, I want to get another knockout. Right, we are back at it, Martin Sandoval, Oakdale, California, six and two record. Guy goes by the nickname, the Tarzan. Tarzan, six and two, as you said, never fought to a decision. He's on a two fight win streak right now in six of his last seven. But that one loss came at Tachi Palace fights, won by rear naked choke to one Ulysses Gomez. Yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> Tell, tell us about Martin Sandoval and uh, your experience with him. Uh, you know, Martin is tough, man. He's going to come strong in the first round. He's going to uh, use a lot of leg kicks. He favors that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that high kick. And uh, when he grabs you in the clinch, man, he throws those knees. He's definitely not, not, not shy. The only thing with him is uh, on his back, he's not that great off the ground. You know, um, in the second round, you know, he'll, he'll throw a... Uh, the, the first round is always the best round from what I've seen from him, you know? So the, so the big thing for Tommy Vargas is to weather that early Martin Sandoval storm. And then watch out for that high kick. As he gets caught in the clinch, watch out for the knees coming up the pipe. And if the near, uh, uh, rear naked chokehold presents itself, definitely take advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was there, take it. <laughs> and the two-fight win streak we talked about for Martin Sandoval, both those uh, wins are by arm bar, so something I guess he's favoring as of late. So Tommy Vargas definitely going to watch out for that arm bar if he's on the ground as well. Well, if he, yeah, if he takes Martin down, you know, he might get arm barred. Very true. So. You know, one thing I found interesting, Martin Sandoval, uh, you know, I guess it makes sense. Uh, he fought you at 125 pounds. This is a 135-pound fight. He came in at just 132, so uh, a little bit not undersized. But, hey, three pounds is three pounds, right? Yeah, well, I think with, with Martin, he just wants to fight, and it's hard for some 25-pounders to get fights. And I think he just wants to stay busy, and, he just, you know, he has faith in himself, you know, that he can, that he can beat Tommy, so the weight shouldn't be an issue to him. All right, the Tarzan is in the ring, and here comes his opponent, Tommy Vargas. Six and one record out of San Bernardino, California. Yeah, Vargas, interesting, fighting for the first time since October 2009. Uh, had a super busy 2009, he was five and one. His lone career loss came back in August 2009. That was by split decision. So, uh, you know, if you're going to lose, I guess a split is the, is, the, is the best way to lose. If there is a good way to lose, at least you were in it. At least one judge thought you won. It's almost like in your mind, you, you can almost tell yourself, you know what, I, I won that fight. So far, I, I don't think anyone's beaten me. At least one guy thought you did anyway. I see a little bit of a, a height difference there. Five foot six for Vargas to five foot three for Sandoval. Again, as we said before, Sandoval uh, fights in the flyweight division as well. But uh, as Ulysses has said, he just wants to stay busy. He wants to fight and see him warming up over here in the corner, throwing those vicious knees as uh, Tommy Vargas makes his way to the cage. Yeah, those things hurt, man. He hit me with one. I was like, oh, man, that's, don't let that happen again. Vargas fights out of the Millennia MMA camp, a well-respected MMA camp that's been around for a long time in the California area, San Bernardino. How can a guy like a Tommy Vargas who was – Active, he was fighting, he was winning, and then all of a sudden he disappears for a year. Could be injury. I mean, uh, like George uh, Oliveira who's fighting later on tonight. You know, he had personal issues. Could be just a personal problem. You know, uh, who knows? All right, both fighters are in the cage. Let's throw it up to our ring announcer, Mr. Joe Martinez. And here we go, fight fans. Our next attraction tonight: three rounds scheduled in the bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a mixed martial artist standing five feet, three inches tall. Official weight, 132 and one quarter pound. As a professional, his record consists of six victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Oakdale, California, here is Martin Tarzan Sandoval. And next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He's a wrestler standing five feet, six inches tall. Official weight, 135 and one quarter pound. As a professional, his record, six victories with just one defeat. He joins us tonight from San Bernardino, California. Here is Tommy Vargas. 
Referee in charge of the action, Josh Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times, defend yourselves all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. All right, round one action underway. Referee Josh Rosenthal in the middle of the ring. Let's get ready to get it on. One more time, fellas. Tarzan Sandoval with the white Valley Tudo shorts there. Vargas sporting the board shorts, white with the red trim. Tommy's done a lot for his wrestling. He, uh, he wrestled down here in California from the, everything he's been saying. We'd like to welcome everyone from MMAJunkie.com. We're streaming live this MMA event. There might have been some technical problems, but John Morgan climbed on the roof armed with duct tape and aluminum foil, and we are back. I'm MacGyvered that feed, and we're good to go. Nice take down there. Vargas does consider himself a wrestler. Like you said, the respected wrestling even claims a style of American wrestling. He gets the takedown early there. He threw some heavy leather to begin with as well. Yeah, that's a problem with, uh, with um, Sandoval. I mean, uh, Martin, he likes throwing that leg kick, man. He might be getting taken down a lot. Tarzan working the open guard. So he's got the overhooks. Backed up to the cage there. The left foot on the hip. Controlling the arms with the overhooks, but uh, I don't know. Doesn't really seem to be trying to get up from it. What, what, what do you think he's looking to set up there? Uh, well, he, probably an arm bar on him. But uh, he should have wall walked from that position. The only problem is if you, if you don't get your back off the, onto the wall immediately, it would be easier for him to just smother you and you know, bring elbows and all that from that position. All right. Vargas Mark. keeping control of that left arm, or excuse me, the, the right arm, but the left arm is free on top. And the elbows are raining down. Instructions coming from his corner. Sandoval with the clothes guard now. Again, getting back to that cage. For me, I wish Tommy, would, Tommy should posture up and start throwing punches. Now he's throwing like a little short, short punch and short elbows, but nothing real, real effective. You know, he should posture up. You can hear his corner right there saying, posture up, posture up, create some distance. What we might see as the fight goes on, not, to, not knowing how long it's going to go, someone like Sandoval goes by the nickname Tarzan. You can see the hair plays into that as, as a part of the whole psyche, the whole gimmick. It can become a, a nuisance to get in your face and kind of blocking your vision. You can see it's already coming undone. Yeah, it definitely can. So that's something we see Clay Guida a lot in the UFC. The, the hair moving all around, and, you know, on the feet, it makes punches look like they're a lot more uh, stiff than maybe they really are. But Martin Sandoval, he's, he's squirrely underneath. He's trying to scramble, like maybe set up that armbar. We saw that left leg sneak up a little bit when he broke the guard. But uh, remember, too, you know, he's the natural flyweight uh, with the natural bantamweight on top of him right now. So that's, but that probably can't feel too good. And I, I like what, you know, Sandoval, you see, he'll break that guard. You see it right there. He tries to scramble up really speedy. Back to his feet. There's that leg kick you talked about. There's another one. There's a takedown. Right Ducked right into Vargas. He really got to shy away from that. If this, yeah. if this thing lasts in the second round, hopefully his corner makes that adjustment. Just take that out of the arsenal, yeah, right? If you're going against a high-level wrestler and you throw that leg kick all day, he should be able to catch and take it down. You know? And you can see Vargas in his corner. They've scouted that. They, they're almost like he was waiting on it. And again, there's Sandoval with his head against the cage, but not trying to wall walk. You know, we saw him earlier on his back. He would break the guard and try to slip those hips over real quick. We see it right there, but but he's not getting there. Yeah, well, I mean, Martin's not trying to wall walk, but at the same exact time, Tommy's not trying to pass. They're more just both kind of content to stay in that position, you know. And if it stays like this, Tommy's winning the round, you know. Yeah, Tommy Vargas, kind of that old school Tito Ortiz, ground and pound, just stay in the guard. Looks like he's he's not interested in passing at all, is he? He's not. Uh, He's not trying to break the legs at all. He's just staying there and grinding away. Yeah, he's throwing good elbows from that position, which is good, you know, but, you know, knowing that, you know, sometimes the judges, I mean, the ref stands you guys up for whatever reason, so. I mean, they, perfect the example, armbar stand up. An arm bar for Martin, but we should stand up and put the knee in the middle for Tommy because it was open in that position for so long. Put the knee in the middle and force the pass. Now they can still back up. Less than a minute left in round one. Referee Interesting stand up. up. Yeah. Interesting stand up from Rosenthal. But, hey, I like it. Get the action going. Like you said, it's kind of a stalemate. Well, I mean, he was, he was inflicting some kind of damage, not too much, but he wasn't trying to improve his position until, so, you know, the ref stood him back up. Well, Tarzan's not coming running in with the kicks again. Yeah, let's kind see if, if he out. realizes not, not to throw that kick. Maybe not even wait to get back to the corner. 
he should fake that kick and come with the knee instead as soon as uh, Tommy Lowe's oh, level take him down. I was thinking maybe oh, that. Oh, left oh. hand drops him. Rosenthal is watching closely. Vargas trying to unload. Mouthpiece is out. Looks like Sandoval's got his wits back about him. Yeah, a little more like a flash drop, but it mean, looked hard, though. Beautiful knockdown from Tommy Vargas, and he's doing it everywhere in this round. Very good statement to end round one. No like question who won that replay. Yeah, I want to see that. Tommy Vargas looked great in round one. Sandoval active underneath, and you can see as he turns over, checking the blood a little bit, making sure he's okay. Looking for a tooth, possible. Absolutely. You see the smile on Tommy Vargas' face there briefly. That was an excellent knockdown for Tommy Vargas. He, he really did it from every position in round one. He got the two takedowns off the leg kicks, was grinding away from the top, and, uh, and then he punctuated that with a knockdown at the end. No question, that's Tommy Vargas taking round one. As you can see here. Nice. <laughs> Left right on the button. Like you said, Sandoval, kind of a flash. He recovered very quickly. Yeah, the, the ground woke him back up. Definitely. An excellent uh, shot from Tommy Vargas there. And again, he tried to rush in and, and finish the deal right there. It wasn't really able to land cleanly, but still an impressive statement there. If you're in Sandoval's corner, what, what can you tell him? He just took a big punch to end the round. He was dominated most of the round. I like what, I like what Ulysses said earlier, kind of fake that kick and then drop that knee when uh, Tommy Vargas shoots in. You know he's going to shoot in on the kick. Yeah, and just tell him, you know, you ate his best punch, and you're still here. 